Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem thirty in chapter eleven. Chapter eleven is about angular momentum. So there we need to prove this equation v equal to omega cross the r, right? So how can we do that? First one, we consider a point is rotating with angular velocity omega about a fixed axis. So omega is in the key component. So we write the omega as omega key. This one, and then. It because it is rotating around the key, so the position we consider is there. Now we need to write this position in this uh, x, y, z component, right? So this angle, of course, omega t. Now we can see we can project this r in the in this uh, x and uh, y plane. So this one at the x plane is just uh, r cosine theta, right? And the Y at x plan r cosine theta at y plan r sine theta and plus the z component z not k. Now can you find the vector v? Sure, the v is derivation with r with the t, right? So for each one we do the derivation with t. We can see only quantity can be is a function of the time is omega. So we do the derivation we get the v equal to this function. Right now we write is omega cross r. Use the table rules. Omega times r. So omega is only at the k component and the velocity v at the x component and the y component. After we do the calculation, we get answer is this one. It's so similar. Now we look at this one compare with this one and this one. It is just v. Then we proved v equal to omega cross r. No problem, right? The next one, uh, ask us. Now we just changes the z component for the r component. It tell us can o be anywhere on the rotation axis. So o be anywhere around the rotation axis. The only quantity changed is this one, the z component of the r. Do you agree? Because this one moves up, down, up, down. Only affects the z component. So this time we consider it becomes z one. And the key component, everything is the same. You can see when we do these table rules calculations, we still get the same answer as the velocity v. So it doesn't change. The next one will v will o is located at a point, not at the axis of rotation. So that means now the new rotation is moved to a new position x two, y two, z two, right? So now these times when we consider the R is a position, so we use this position minus the new origin. So this a uh, y component minus new origin and the y component minus new origin. This one, right? And then when we do the table rules, at is omega cross r, we find it changes. So in this one, it will not work if the if the O is located at a point not at the axis of rotation. This will not equal, right? Thank you.